This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at polar and non-polar molecules. Here we have examples of non-polar molecules. We have O2, which is oxygen, N2, which is nitrogen, and CH4, which is methane. Diatomic molecules such as O2 and N2 are composed of the same kind of atom bonded together. There is no difference in electronegativity between the two atoms, therefore they form a non-polar bond. Methane is composed of one carbon atom bonded to four hydrogen atoms. The carbon to hydrogen bond is a non-polar bond. This is because of the small difference in electronegativity between carbon and hydrogen. Because methane does not contain any polar bonds, it's a non-polar molecule. Next, we look at a non-polar molecule with polar bonds, which is carbon tetrachloride. Carbon tetrachloride is composed of one carbon atom bonded to four chlorine atoms. The carbon to chlorine bond is a polar bond because of the difference in electronegativity between carbon and chlorine. These vector arrows can be used to show bond polarity. Even though it has four polar bonds, overall carbon tetrachloride is a non-polar molecule. The molecular geometry of carbon tetrachloride is tetrahedral. This means that the bond polarities cancel out and the molecule has no net dipole moment. Our next example is a polar molecule, which is dichloromethane. Dichloromethane is composed of one carbon atom that's bonded to two chlorine atoms and two hydrogen atoms. If we look at the bond polarities, we can see that we have two polar bonds and two non-polar bonds. In this molecule, the bond polarities do not cancel out, therefore it has a net dipole moment. Next, we look at two examples of non-polar molecules that have polar bonds. Even though carbon dioxide is composed of two carbon to oxygen bonds, which are polar bonds, overall it's a non-polar molecule. The molecular geometry of carbon dioxide is linear, which means the bond polarities cancel out. Therefore, it has no net dipole moment. The next example is boron trifluoride. Boron trifluoride is composed of three boron to fluorine bonds, which are polar bonds. The molecular geometry is trigonal planar, which means the bond polarities cancel out. And overall, the molecule has no net dipole moment. And finally, we look at two examples of polar molecules, that's H2O and NH3. H2O is a polar molecule because of the presence of polar bonds. Another reason is the molecular geometry, which is bent or V-shaped. The bond polarities do not cancel out and the molecule has a net dipole moment. The hydrogen atoms have a positive dipole and the oxygen atom has a negative dipole. NH3 is also a polar molecule due to the presence of polar bonds and its molecular geometry. Because of these factors, the bond polarities do not cancel out and the molecule has a net dipole moment. The hydrogen atoms have a positive dipole and the nitrogen atom has a negative dipole. 